it's me again, Anushka. How you all doing? Hope you're all well. So today I'm back for another makeup tutorial, which I haven't done in a while. And it's on the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. This is what it looks like in this, you know, regular tube packaging. Just in case you guys didn't know, this foundation wasn't available in the UK for quite a while. And I've been wanting to try it for a bit, especially when it came out, when I saw the word Pro Glow, like... I really really wanted to try it but it was never available in the UK but it recently launched on Amazon and I grabbed myself a shade I asked you guys on Instagram do you want me to review this this foundation and you a lot of you said yes actually so yeah I'm gonna be trying this out today I'm also gonna be wearing it throughout the day I'm gonna see how it looks like by the end of the day and yeah kind of liking this eyeshadow it's the makeup revolution Reloaded palette by the way just in case you guys will ask and the mascara I'm wearing is the Bobbi Brown eye opening mascara Another favorite. I was gonna use a darker backdrop to for this video, but I don't know why Like every time I wear I use a darker backdrop it washes me out like I look so pale whilst this is really true to What I am actually and because it's a foundation review. I want it to be like true to color. So I don't know I was gonna wear this I was gonna put this colour but it, it just washes me out, I don't know why, so I think I'm gonna stay away from darker backdrops because it's just so hard to work with. If you're a blog, if you're a YouTuber, let me know how you work with darker backdrops if you do at all. Anyways, let's just jump straight into the first impression. So this foundation is called obviously the Infallible Pro Glow, it says it's up to 24 hour wear. <laughs> I don't know who wears foundation for 24 hours, probably like models fashion week I don't even know but anyways um I have the shade 209 caramel beige it says it has a radiant finish medium coverage and air light texture shake well dot onto skin in rolling motion for flawless coverage there's quite a lot of um information on the tube itself which I appreciate like I don't have to go onto the website I actually don't have my phone right now um it says it's, it's lasting glow foundation never dull never greasy okay that's important for me like I don't want my face to look greasy like I have been guilty for in the past I did buy this foundation for around 12 pounds on Amazon which is a normal price for a um drugstore foundation especially L'Oreal L'Oreal is between 10 and 15 pounds um the only issue I have is when I was looking at the shades, they only have 12 shades, guys, and not even that. I mean, that's fine. If you want to have 12 shades, that's fine. But, like, there's no gradient. Like, there's only, again, one brown, or one or two brown shades, two darker shades. I'll try and put a picture here if I can, but... I don't know, that's just not good enough in my opinion and I did review the foundation sticks that L'Oreal came out with recently. They did announce that they will co be coming out with um, darker shades and not, not a lot of people were quite happy with like the shade range. Like, I don't know if they even see the comments, like, I don't, I'm not even sure if in the States they have more, more options for this foundation because I know in, in the US like you get so many like dark colors available in a drugstore whilst here I don't even know what's going on I think that's my only issue and I will keep saying it and I I don't know why I should stop like let me fix this I should do I don't know why I don't really see a lot of people calling out L'Oreal on their awful shade range I mean I feel like I had to choose between, I had like two or three options for my skin tone, but there were so many options for paler skin tones and not a lot for like deeper, deeper skin tones. They did a great job on True Match, but I feel like if you're going to come out with foundations, everyone needs to be able to try it and have the option to try it. And I don't see anyone calling it out. I know I keep saying it about L'Oreal, but that's, that's what they keep coming out with, a bad shade range. And obviously I'm going to keep saying it. It doesn't mean that I hate L'Oreal or I don't use their products. You guys see me using their products. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like they definitely need to improve their shade range. Especially being such a big brand. I don't know why they wouldn't come out with more. I mean, if Makeup Revolution can do it, like, why can't L'Oreal? I don't even know. So, anyways, moving on. So, this foundation has 30ml, which is a standard amount of product for foundation. It has a radiant finish, normal to dry skin, and it's hydrating. So I'm going to give it a good shake. I recently cut my hair, guys, and oh, I feel like so free. Like, it's still quite long, but I cut like this much. It was literally going down my bum crack. Don't even ask. Like, it was just too much. 
Even when I was going to sleep, it was too much. <laughs> so before I apply the foundation, I'm going to put some of the primer. I use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer a lot lately. I always apply primer now, so it's only fair that I do so. This is what the foundation colour looks like. Again, it's caramel beige, and I think this would be a really good colour for me. I'm glad that I didn't go with the darker one because I feel like that would have been too orangey for me whilst this looks really perfect. I'm going to do one side with a sponge and then the other side with a brush so we can see if there's anything different. Definitely oxidizes a little bit. It does, I can see. Can you see how it's like dark on the edges? It's because it's oxidizing. But anyways, let's move quickly. It has a nice scent to it. Why am I messing up? Okay, so with the sponge, it blended quite easily. It does oxidize though. So bear that in mind, because it's definitely, I'm so glad I didn't go darker. I can definitely see parts of my skin through the foundation, which is fine. I don't mind that. Okay, so I'm going in with a brush. Okay, it doesn't really have a scent, it's just my sponge that it smells nice because I use some hand wash to clean it. <laughs> I have this painful spot coming, oh my god, it's deforming my chin. Okay, I have to say I'm not mad at this foundation though. Because it's making my skin look really good, but naturally, very naturally. Like It's not full coverage and I can still see parts of my skin through. And I like both ways, like with a brush and a sponge it works totally fine, but I'm I'm really pleased with what I'm seeing now, like, and my skin has been really good to me lately, I've been drinking so much more water, like at least like a litre a day, and I swear I've been doing it for like almost a week now, and I can already see differences, like the texture on my cheek is already going, like I can't even deal, like sometimes there's only so much that products can do, and you just have to change what you are to bring into your body and I felt like you know it was just so bad that I was never ever drinking water so I felt like I had to improve it hopefully I can continue I'm going to try my best and yeah I've just been drinking only water I haven't touched any juices I've only had a sip like a literally a little sip of some like Fanta but like I stopped myself and went back to my water so if I can learn how to control myself then that's even better but don't this foundation look really nice though it looks really nice. It's definitely evened out my skin. It feels really nice. Not too tacky, even though I haven't set. It does definitely have that glow to it, which, to be honest, I don't mind, actually. It's not too much. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back. Guys, I am now back. I've done my makeup. I filmed a little Instagram tutorial. Guys, if you want to check that out, make sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where I am mostly these days. I'm really happy with the foundation. It is more the yellowy side, but I'm not mad at it. Like, I can definitely see, like, more yellowish tone. Maybe a bit, a bit too yellow, but to be honest, it works. The lipstick I'm wearing is this Avon lipstick in Marvelous Mocha. It's such a nice lipstick. My friend Nina's mum actually got it for me. This is what the foundation looks like up close. I'm pretty happy with it, guys. Look at the eyeshadow, though. I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day, and I'll be back later on, and I'll let you know my final thoughts on the foundation. I am back now. It is just... I think 6.30, I checked the clock in the toilet that I chucked over there because I freaking hate that clock. But um, I actually overslept, I took a nap, and I've been so tired, but can you believe my makeup held up? I took a nap and it hasn't even fit, oh yeah, a little bit here though. But that's no, that's no big deal, look, it just blended away. 
but it hasn't like overall come off like maybe my bronzer has come off here but guys I'm quite happy with the foundation I'm really happy it's very glowy like by the end of the day I've been wearing this foundation for around like eight hours um, and it's held up pretty well the only thing is it does go relatively shiny so definitely if you are if you have oily skin you might need to powder a bit more but my skin has been dry and it's like a little flaky around my nose but it's nothing major um, no smile lines my skin looks super like healthy and glowy um, I'm really surprised by it so yeah I'm pretty happy with it I think it did really well the only thing to me that is a downside is the shade range but hopefully they improve that's all we can do just hope that they improve and you know up their game on that but um, yeah I think I'm gonna rate this foundation like an 8 out of 10 because the shade range ain't that great for me not everyone's gonna be able to try it and that sucks especially for me I'm lucky to have an exact shade color but some people don't and they can't really try it or they have to buy two and that's just annoying you don't want to buy two colors of a foundation because they don't have your color do you know what I mean so, yeah that's a that's a downer for me so I'm gonna give it 8 out of 10 it is a really good foundation though um <clears throat> stays so well on the skin it makes your skin look really nice even though I had a nap and had it on for like almost eight hours it's held up pretty well the only thing is I would I would probably powder a little bit even though I have dry skin because it is quite shiny Yeah, if you just powder it, it just makes it look a little bit more better, you know? Would I wear this foundation again? Yes. I really like it, especially for summer. I'm going to like it a lot. It makes me look... Because it... Oh, and I forgot, it does oxidise, guys. So bear that in mind when you buy your colour. It definitely went to more of a yellowy, warmer shade once you blend it out and, you know, it's sat on the skin. So, um, yeah, I was quite surprised by the oxidisation because it happened quite a bit, like, more than my other foundations. So, yeah, bear that in mind. Um, I don't think that's a bad thing. It's just that you have to adapt it to your skin colour. So, like, when you try it in the stores, maybe, like, see which one is better for you. But it is only available on Amazon, I believe, right now, which sucks. I based my... I colour match myself on Google Images, <laughs> literally. Um, and if you can't ha if you can't find your shade from that, then look at other YouTubers that wear your shade based on that picture on Google, um, and see if they are similar in skin tone to you. So I think that's all I have to say, guys. I really hope this um, foundation review was helpful for you all. Um, if you want me to do any others, let me know. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did find it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. There was some other. What was I saying? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching I'm having really big issues with articulation articulation lately but um, yeah I really appreciate it guys I love you so much and I will see you guys in my next video bye